Hi Pisces, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. Um, for those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Pisces, this is going to be your December 2023 reading. Thank you for being patient with me while I get these out. I was working on the weeklies and all the other things and in between. So um, finally, you in two more signs and we're all wrapped up for the, the beginning of December anyhow. Um, Pisces, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. Discern the messages, flip the rules as you need to, and um, we're going to get rolling from there. Pisces, they talked about being spirit, talked about traditions, and they also talked about um, your structures changing in regards to, it, it felt like family to me. Forget how it was worded exactly, um, but the structures around something here are changing. This could be, um, it was like cutting ties with, with things or people. So uh, we're going to pull the cards, see what comes out for you all, and uh, go from there like always. So happy hump day. It's Wednesday already. This week is flying by. Christmas will be here before we know it. <laughs> Hope you guys are getting prepared and ready to roll for the holiday season. All right, Pisces, let's see what's, what's going on. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know for December 2023? What does Pisces need to know? Loose. Cutting loose, Pisces. What is this about? Cutting loose. What is trying power? There's been a lot of the power uh, dynamic showing up. There's a lot of emperor energy floating around, and there's that air. Or, okay, Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries, um, but the emperor is Aries in the tarot. And um, where was I going with that? There's just there's a lot of little things I feel like that are happening that are going to culminate into something much larger here down the line for probably the collective in the in the general sense um so pisces i'm not surprised to see that kind of energy popping up for you as well water signs i feel like you've been going through it for some time on ecstasy and gratitude i just did virgo's reading a little while ago um the gratitude popped up that's capricorn energy capricorn sees it could be very important to you uh something could be transpiring and that's same thing that i picked up on for virgo there's a reason you guys i have the the, de the decks of cards with the signs, I shuffle them out um, and allow spirit to drop, you know, whoever's on the table coming next. And um, so to see repetitive cards after shuffling here and pre-shuffling, um, I'm never really surprised. They seem to run together in some capacity. So uh, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be a lot of earth energy surrounding you at this time as well. And this all in ecstasy is Aquarius. So we have Aquarius season coming up after Sag, and we've got uh, our Capricorn season and then Aquarius season coming up after Sagittarius. So the next two months could be very important for you, but they're laying the found or the foundation here of three. So Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius. I feel like Sag season typically, you know, we see that as an action-oriented time. This year, for some reason to me too, it also seems like it's been a bit of a slowdown as well. It's like a reevaluation period. We have Mercury getting ready to go into retrograde, so we are in the pre-shadow phase to that. Uh, we're gonna start the new year off in Mercury retrograde as well. So there's a lot of Mars and Mercury energy that's floating around um, and kind of amping us through this time frame. So then you've got uh, Uranus playing a role here too, which is creating some rebellious type attitudes in regards to certain things but I can also say to you that with the way the energy came in in the very beginning it was cutting again cutting ties so you could be revolting uh the revolutionary card our uh, revolution card popped out quite a bit in some of the readings as well in the weekly so this energy that I'm picking up on right now Pisces is kind of like this expression of change is what spirit is saying right now generosity and po that power card coming back out again <clears throat> generosity the, the thing about this is you can see this in, is two two ways this card uh and i'm going to show this to you so you can see what that looks like okay this generosity card and this is the first time i'm seeing it like this could be seen in two ways as the hunter is allowing this fox to go off 444 four, four on the clock and take what is rightfully his that duck that he is hunting um but you could also see this as the sly fox coming in and taking what it is the hunter has been out, you know, trying to grab for himself all day long. 
Pisces, to me, Spirit is saying that this is about understanding where you are giving and understanding where things are being taken from you. Uh, sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. You're probably the sixth sign that I have done readings for in the past three days that that sneeze has happened up only a few minutes into the reading. So, confirmation. Um, anyhow. Is there another one? Bear with me for one second. <coughs> there is. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Anyhow, now that I think that's over with, gosh, darn it. Um... This is about understanding what is being given, what is being taken. The reciprocity. I've seen the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups also come up quite a bit. This Pisces taking your power back. Um, this eagle is coming in to take back what is rightfully his. And she's like, okay, fine, fine, just take it. But this is, you know, your rod of light. This is your power. This is your being here. She looks a little fearful. And sometimes being in a space of power can make us feel fearful. It's like finally getting to where we want to go and where we want to be and being fearful of how much power we are sitting in. Pisces, I, I keep getting this idea from spirit that whatever is happening could be happening around the Christmas season for you guys. And it was funny, like I said to you, oh, I hope you guys are ready for Christmas while I was shuffling the cards. Um, it seems like something small, right? And if you celebrate the holidays or whatever your Christmas is to you, if you do that, um, there, there seems to be a split as to whether or not you're going to entertain a tradition from the past. So there could be, Spirit is saying, some discussion around what it is you're doing for the holidays, where you're going, who you're spending your time with. I feel like there's this pushback coming from you that... You know, maybe if you're out of state or at a distance from family or something and you don't have to be, that you're not not returning home. You're, you're, you may be creating your own traditions, your own foundations. You're pushing back against maybe, you know, you think about it like mom expects me home for the holidays, right? And you're like, no, this being you here, Pisces, no. But what do you mean? And it's like maybe they're not used to you giving pushback. Maybe you've been in this fragile energy of the past or in the past and you've sacrificed the self Pisces the card of sacrifice I'm sorry I'm a little stuffy now but I've sneezed um you've sacrificed your own foundations for the sake of another you know it's like okay they've kept you kind of whipped or conditioned into a belief system that this is how it had to be but there's something happening here for you guys that it is taking your power back it's like no we're not going to do it like this anymore. I don't want to do it like this. This could be you speaking your peace, stepping into your truth, acknowledging what it is that you want rather than what it is somebody else wants you to do. You know, it doesn't have to be just about the holidays. It could be, you know, in any area of life as well. So, uh, let's, let's see here. Spirit, four Pisces. I said about that gratitude card that came out in there. This is the same exact card that popped up on the underlying energy as well for Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo energy for you guys. The thinking woman that could be considered to be the queen of swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius does not have to be. You could be embodying that energy. You see, she's pretty stern. Like, thank you, but no thank you. I'm taking what is left for me and I'm walking away from everything else. Um, or somebody could also be coming at you with that energy of, I've done this for you your whole life and you think you would appreciate this. I've given this to you. Why aren't, why aren't you reciprocating this? Why aren't you giving this back to me? It's like, there could be a, a space that feels like it's only love with conditions, <clears throat> you know, or I'm only going to give under a specific condition. It comes out the world card. Something here is absolutely coming to a completion. Um, and I said cutting cords, cutting lines, cutting cutting things out, and, and that is indicative of the same in the world card falling out here. <sighs> I knew it, Pisces. Storm warning, yin and yang, balance. <clears throat> and this is about your connections to others. I just said speaking up, 
saying how you feel. You may have put that on the back burner for a long time, um, but now taking your power back by the way that you're speaking, how you're responding to things rather than reacting. Or I just, I kind of, it gives me this feel of for years, tucking your tail between your legs and just obeying commands. Okay, and it's like, no. This is also a five, which is a representation of change. 10, divisible by. Spirit just said twice the change, two, two there, in, in the same year. So you could, this could be like a, go back six months. What did you learn from the beginning of the year to that point six months ago? So what, June-ish? May, June, Gemini, Taurus time frame. At that point, did you have something transpiring that you were your boundaries were starting to kind of kick in for you, where you were starting to examine that you weren't real keen on doing something in the way that was expected of you by somebody or something else? And now it's like coming full circle with this world card that now this has completely come to an end. So that twice around in, in a year period is um, saying to you, I am not doing this. I amped up how I felt about things six months ago. I sat with it the second half of the year and now I'm deciding that this is not for me anymore. And somebody could feel threatened by that. Somebody could be fearful of that, that all of a sudden you are finding your personal power and saying, no more. That can be very disruptive to both both sides of the situation to you because this is a whole new way of being, right? And it's like, shit, I've got this this power and like now I may feel alone. Okay, there's a, this feeling, even though there's this caring connections, there's this feeling of aloneness because you've disconnected from something that is no longer serving you. But then there's also walking into a new beginning that is going to serve your higher good where your soul family will come in you will find the balance you will regain your footing after closing a cycle out pisces and i really feel like this is what is happening for you is that personal power and finding the connections that actually resonate with you that let you feel listened to and they let you feel heard they also are willing to be the one who talks. So you're, you're willing to be receptive to their communication is what I'm getting at here one way around. Um, but they're also giving you a safe space to be heard and listened to as well after putting that on pause for a very long period of time. So um, let's, let's dive in. Let's dive in here. Clarify, see what's happening. All right, the world card here, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know for the month of December? I can't help but just continue to look at that Aquilia, Aquilia, Quilla, I can't say it right, um, how she's giving that bolt back to the eagle. Like, she's fearful, like, just here, take it, take it and go. You know, um, it's a lot of fear-based, and that eagle is coming in with just such uh, fero uh, ferocity, is that a word? I'm, not, I'm making shit up as we go here, right? Um, just such a determined sense of, that's mine. That's my right. That's mine. That was mine. You took something from me. Give it back. You know, it's like your kids fighting over over toys. The Empress in the reverse. You could be dealing with a feminine energy. Does not have to be. Um, but I said earlier, you know, it's like going back home to mom for the holidays. <sighs> the Empress in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm not, you know, the seven of pentacles can be seen in so many, every card can be seen in so many ways, right? Depending on the deck, depending on the reader, depending on all these things. I'm not the biggest fan of the seven of pentacles because it's like there's an impatience tied to that seven of pentacles. Um, there is, to me, a little bit of confusion surrounding the seven of pentacles. There is this boredom attached to the seven of pentacles uh, it's a longing, it's a waiting. There's so much that I see in this card every single time. And I almost want to say, like, sometimes, too, I feel like he forgot about this. It's like, it's it's four cups kind of energy to me, but with the pentacles. Like, he's looking at these ones, but he's missing this one, and this one's, this one's laid right at his feet. So, <clears throat> it's like... So, it's a lack, Spirit is saying, it's a lack of satisfaction. 
Um, somebody here has always found, um, with the Empress in the reverse, I'm hearing ugly, has always found the ugly in anything that you do. So you can kind of come in, I feel like this is you, Pisces, and it's like, here is, I'm trying to give something, you know, you try to give back in some kind of way, but it's, it comes, it comes up short. It's never enough. Right. And then when I look at this Empress with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, it is conditions. The Empress is growth. The Empress is beautiful. She's fertile. The Empress in the reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, which lacks the knee, you know, lacks the growth or hasn't, we haven't seen the abundance. The Knight of Pentacles is such a small, slow moving uh, kind of thing. And then you've got that attached to the world card, which is an ending. There was never anything about this particular situation, however this fits into your, your world, that ever really substanti substantiated any kind of growth. It wasn't loving, it wasn't nurturing, it wasn't caring. This was a condition of what is it that I'm getting. And that to me is bothersome. And, you know, and through that, it's like you could feel like that whomever or whatever the situation is, oftentimes it's almost like this sense of using somebody. Two of swords, three of cups, three of wands. Like, thanks for the fun time, see you later. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even know why you're there, but everything is just hunky-dory in the moment, and then it's like, okay, now you can leave. It's feeling like you were always misplaced somehow. Like, you never quite felt like you fit into a situation, but you had to show up. It's like being the black sheep of the family. You know, like, these aren't my people, but I'm going to go because I'm expected to be there. And that's, that's how this energy feels. But there's a reality, like the illusion, and we talk about... Um, the astrology, and I can't even think everything right in the moment, but when you look at everything, this is about a time of illusion. Okay, illusions are starting to clear up. We're moving into Pluto and Aquarius. We're going to bounce back and forth in Capricorn for a little while. Things are becoming clearer. Um, and part of this ending is the clarity that is coming in. You're being able to see more than you used to see. You're starting to evolve, you know, through the mud and the muck of these these dead unfruitful journeys that you've taken with people who wanted you there based upon a condition you know um i just heard from spirit all i want to do is go home so what is it that you're trying to check out from nine of wands sitting there too a lot of wands nine of wands three of wands four of wands some of you could be searching for a place that is home for you you know, if you felt like you never belonged in something, you know, they, 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 I remember reading and it was something that stuck with me after my situation of domestic violence is when we pick, when learning about why we pick the partners we pick. Okay. And like, it doesn't have to be that, but we will search for things that feel like home to us because we're comfortable with that. And it doesn't mean that that home space is a healthy space. You know, if you have a parent who is an alcoholic, you're very likely to pick up a, a person in your world that is, you know, and live with them and have life with them that is an alcoholic because even though you know that it's not healthy, it's not normal, you know what that feels like. You know what to expect. It was what love represented, was represented to you as, or how a person that you love was represented to you as you grew up. So we search for a place that is home because it's comfortable. We know what we're getting into. And for this though, it's like a twofold situation here, Pisces, where it's like, I wanna find home, but Spirit's pointing out that that home that you're seeking is already within you. This could be causing this storm warning to take place. This could be causing up a stir of what the representation of your home is. What, what reason there is to celebrate. To me, I know you've got like, it could be marriage and celebration and all things good and happy. But to me, it's very much the pillars. Those four, are, four pillars are the representation of the 1111, which is divine protection and divine order as well. 
it is our four cornered foundations. You know, if you home, you have to have four corners. You have to start to build from something. Those are the initial structures. This could be causing kind of a shitstorm of emotions when it comes to what home represents to you internally. This could also be a representation of a shitstorm that's about to happen when it comes to home and family or what you've been tied to and or conditioned by for a very long time and you trying to keep and maintain distance between you and that. <clears throat> so let's dive in a little further, Pisces. Let's see what else is going on here. Pisces. Temperance. Healing energy. Surprise, surprise. Trying to calm things down. King of Cups in the reverse. Oh, Pisces, your emotions could just be absolutely 110% all over the place. Sagittarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, primarily Scorpio here. Um, <clears throat> Libra, Taurus energy coming out. Page of Pentacles. I talked about that Four of Cups, right? I said that Seven of Pentacles is like the Four of Cups with the boredom. There you go, laying underneath the Four of Cups. Um, <clears throat> If somebody's coming at you cold, heartless, maybe a little on the crazy side of things, Pisces, spirit saying don't take it to heart. This is a projection. If they see you starting to heal, they're seeing you starting to understand things, they're going to do something to try to keep you in it. The best they're doing here is the Page of Pentacles with their small offer. The small, well, I have a gift for you. Aren't you going to come? I have something to give you, aren't you going to come? Where it used to be, well, let's go do X, Y, Z. It seemed a little more, um, a little more giving, we'll call it, right? And then now it's been downgraded to a page. Well, here, let me talk. Instead of showing so much action with the knight who's taking action, the page is, at least, let me put it this way too to kind of clarify. The knight's on his horse. He's ready to go. He's, he's moving. He's slow, Right? but he's moving. The page is standing still. He just comes in to deliver a message and then he's off again on his own devices. Immature communication a lot of the time. If the King of Cups wasn't in the um, reverse position, I would be like, oh, goody, they're offering you something. It's not a lot, but it's something. It's emotionally heartfelt. This is manipulation. They see you healing. They see you trying to move on and move forward. You've got the Empress and the King of Cups diagonally here supporting one another. There's nothing. It's like somebody has emotionally died inside a couple of times over. And you're finally at a place where, is that all you have to give me? That's it. You could have even had these conversations around a particular situation as well, that it's like, you may have been optimistically hoping that somebody was going to come in with something that was truly tangible, something that was truly heartfelt, genuine, and sincere. And you've been willing to alchemize with that and understand, though, it's like even when <clears throat> you may have tried to give your fears a rest, all right, that even at that, you had hoped that maybe somehow, someday, some way, whoever this is, whatever this is, would start to understand that they were going to have to give more and meet you halfway. That temperance is meeting halfway, right? It's an equal pour of the cups to from one another. And it could be disappointment, dissatisfaction with that four cups that they're not. Like, you standing in your power would make them have a realization, would make them... Help, them, help make them understand that this wasn't fair. That you weren't always going to be the giver and giver and continuously allowing them to take from you. That maybe by doing X, Y, and Z, <clears throat> this would begin to balance out a situation. It's not happening that way. Best advice, Pisces, you cannot expect you from other people. When we do, we end up very much disappointed and discontent. And we end up on, I said, it's kind of like being alone, right? That fool starts that new journey alone. He's got a lot of a lot of learning to do. Nobody else can do that learning for him. He's going to meet people along the way. He's going to meet situations along the way. He's going to meet himself along the way. But he starts that journey on his own. And he's got his dog. But he's got to learn the lessons. The dog is just along for the ride. 
but he is leading the way. Five of Pentacles behind that, feeling left out, alone, neglected, abandoned. What is this yin and yang? The magician, the emperor. I told you in the beginning, Aries energy coming through, that emperor energy taking back control and power in your life, that is what the emperor does. Page of Wands coming out sideways. I feel like there's a little confusion for you with that Page of Wands coming out sideways as to how, ooh, to how this balance is out or what, how, it, it gives me Two of Wands kind of vibes with, with that direction of it coming out as it did. It's, it's like, how do I get growth from something that's dry, right? When you're dealing with this Empress that's in reverse, the King in reverse, and this page of wands falling down here in the corner of that. It's like, they've given me nothing to really work with. There's no emotional investment in this. There's, there's nothing but probably anger and some hatred and resentment tied to this. So how do I, as the Magician and the Emperor, gain growth through this situation? It's to open your heart space. To balance it out, the yin and the yang with the temperance card, is to never stop giving parts of yourself, to never shut yourself down emotionally. There's this, this table of cards right now is lacking that emotion. Like you've had somebody somewhere along the line, Pisces, and I don't know, this could be a wife, this could be a spouse, this could be a wife, um, this could be friends, family, but there's been examples around you with the lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and then you've got the Ace of Swords in the middle. To me, it's there's an example of what the truth looks like outside of people who are absolutely loveless, that do love you only on condition. I think you do have, um, if this was a mother in your world, you could have other feminine energies around you that show you the definition of stability, that show you the definition of taking action upon their words. Or this could be you, that you've just learned over time what that means for you, how that needs to shift for you, and you're making headway on it. Because, you know, when we deal with these situations from the past, we always have a choice. It's like the father that's the alcoholic, he has two sons, the one son drinks himself to oblivion every night on a bar stool, the other son never picks up a drink, and then they ask both of them, why do you drink? Well, I drink every night and end up on that bar stool because my dad did. Why don't you drink to the other son? It's very simple, I watched my dad do it. I don't wanna be that. It's always about the personal choice, and I kind of feel like Pisces, you're taking a look and examining these personal truths as to why people behave the way they do in your world, why this was so loveless, why this was so painstaking, how it was always you giving, you giving, you giving, and something always being taken in return. Never a reciprocity, not even an inkling of the same. It's very, very interesting energy, Pisces, but I do think that you are healing these aspects. Um, Spirit said one card for the fifth chakra. Page of Swords, look at this. <coughs> I wanted to clarify this fifth chakra, the throat chakra. Page of Swords. You've, you, Spirit just said you've been witness to words not matching the action that comes behind it. And it's done. And what did I say? Two of Wands energy with that Page of Wands. There it is. There's your world, your completion. How do I... How do I move past dry, barren land? It's very simple. Very simple. You're gaining a new perspective on what it looks like to you. You're heading in the right direction. You're heading towards your own stability. So whatever this is, if somebody is taken and taken and taken, you taking your, pow taking your power back is putting you into this King of Pentacles. And that's okay. That's exactly where you need to go exactly what you need to do. You don't owe anybody anything, Pisces. You don't. Um, you owe it to yourself to be your own best friend. You owe it to yourself to be exactly what it is that you need to be 
and the winds are changing, things are shifting. You're, you are bearing witness. Spirit said to your own testimony. Your own testimony of your own truth. Of who, who takes what they say seriously. Who gives into what they say and does what, you know, it's like say what you mean and do what you say. Something to that effect, right? <clears throat> Same kind of energy here. All right, Pisces. Advice. Spirit for Pisces. Listen in miracles. That listen card keeps coming out. The miracles came out for Virgo, I do believe. For advice for Pisces, please. Check in. Um, what, Spirit just said when you get a call, when you have this communication with whoever this is, if it's via a phone call, a text message, some kind of online communication, which is what the Page of Swords can represent as well, ask yourself how you feel about it when you're done having that conversation. If you were having a good day, are you still in a high vibe and kind of energy? If you were having a bad day, do you feel any better? Do you feel about the same? Do you feel worse? Check in with how you feel. Your feeling is going to be the biggest indicator for you um, of how it is that you specifically in your personal situation need to handle this moving forward let it go spirit says try to pop out all right advice for pisces give are you the giver pisces don't in spirit reiterate don't stop giving speak up so again where you haven't spoken up do not be afraid that throat chakra energy again coming through don't be afraid to speak on how you feel about your connections. Don't withhold. Don't swallow it. Don't push it down. Open yourself up to that and, and give, give your truth. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. But without conditions. We don't have to give. That's not... You give to give. You don't give to receive. You know? 32.23 on the clock. All right, Pisces, I'm leaving it there. If you found this reading resonated for you, with you, helped you in any way, like, share, subscribe, feel free to comment as well. Information for personal readings, again, description box below, about section of the page. Visit me at holisticallyzenwb.com for a full list of products and services. Hope you guys are, are doing well. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.